How's everybody doing today? And as you can see, this is episode number 10 of the Zero Overall franchise. We are sitting at 5 and 103. So if you guys missed last episode and see how we got that win, you probably should go and click that link up above to make sure you're all caught up on every single episode that's happened, especially the last one. So in that episode, we played the Reds, you know, came up against Manny Machado, you know, who moved to the Reds. And then we also we also got a win. So that was actually pretty, pretty cool. Um... The rest of the month didn't go too well. I mean, we didn't actually beat the Reds. We actually got a sim win. So the CPU is currently four wins and I have one win. So, you know, things aren't going too great for me. But as a team, you know, we're five games better than we were last season. So I can't complain. So as per usual, if you guys are enjoying the content, make sure you hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. And, uh, you know, as always, leave some comments down below. I love seeing you guys' comments. I love interacting with you guys. You guys always have some pretty cool things to say, some things that you do like, some things that you don't like, some suggestions for the series, as well as, you know, who's your favorite player, who's your least favorite player, who do you guys think should leave, who do you guys think should stay, and stuff like that. I definitely think we got some pretty solid players that we can build around. I think Kevin Page is, a, is one of my favorite players. I don't know why. I just really, really like him. Um, and I guess this is kind of a good time to do like a, a mid-season check-in to see how everybody's doing, you know. Truman Bartholomew, unfortunately, just can't get that first win as a, as a Miami Marlin. He just can't do it. So hopefully we can get that started. Ray Almanzar has three of our five wins this season. Poncio Alvarez still hasn't gotten a win. Carlos Kike, unfortunately, hasn't gotten a win. And Kip Aiden, neither, you know. Starters just haven't been uh, going too well. Darby Jarvis, you know, he's 0-1, but he's, he's put in some solid work. You know, a 10 ERA is not horrible for us, and 108 innings. Christopher Robles, he's 0-1 as well, 124 innings pitched, and a 4.86, I, I definitely can't complain about that. Adam Malachi, 64 innings. Gonsalves, I mean, under 7 ERA, I can't complain about that. Hippolito, he's got our fifth win. Or is that our fourth win? Because Almanzar has three. Hippolito's got one. Okay, that's our fourth win. And Dario Lennard is our other one that has a win. Um, Troy Lee. And then Richard Humphrey is here. Does Richard Humphrey have any saves? He's got three saves. Richard Humphrey has three saves. So not not too not too shabby there. So Victor Victor Mesa, 259 on the year. Doing a lot better than he was last year. Nine homers, 29 ribbies. Not too not too bad. Pepito Americo is hitting 119 on the season. Wish it was a little bit better. 234 in Kevin Page's rookie season. Um, you can see his stats are going up. And I like to see that a lot. Sean Robles. He's our B potential third baseman. His stats are slowly creeping up as well. He's hitting 202. Wish it was a little bit better. But, you know, his contact numbers aren't that great. His vision's not that great. It's really just his power. Rain Rodney, 181. I'm kind of thinking we need to find a new second baseman. And I say that, and I'm thinking it's going to be Maverick Moss because we did draft that shortstop that has like crazy good potential, crazy good overall. So that's probably going to be our new shortstop, and maybe Maverick Moss moves over to that second base position. Or if you guys are really liking Rain Rodney, maybe we keep Rain Rodney as our second baseman and Maverick Moss gets moved to the bench. Um, Stuart Merrill is probably going to be the first baseman for the future. Um, he's got decent speed, decent hitting stats. You know, 255 average is not not bad at all. Uh, Maverick Moss, we've kind of already looked over. Yancy Esmond. Yancy Esmond's probably the next player I kind of want to move on from. Even though he's got, he delivers in the clutch. You know, he usually gets RBIs when we need it. He usually gets that base hit up the middle, which is kind of his signature thing. I think it's time to move on from him. And then Sean Robles is probably taking over Danilo Prince's spot soon. But Danilo Prince, you know, he's just kind of sticking around. Chris Montague's not having too great of a season. Clyde Niles, kind of similar. You know, he's hitting 150. And Arnold Kelly, Captain Thick. I mean, he's 33 overall, but he's almost 30 years old. And, I mean, he just, you know, he's 245, 5'9". I, I don't see him, you know, he might have a heart attack soon. He's just kind of a big boy. You know, I don't think he should be that big. But, uh, yeah, that's that's the team so far. You know, we're kind of, I, I'd say we're doing a lot better than last year. I mean, players' stats are going up, averages are going up, everything like that. So that's a good start to see. We've also won five games. So that's also a huge improvement. 
So looking at the month of August, we have August and September. So we only got two more months left in this season. Hopefully we can end with seven wins. I think if we get seven wins, that's seven new players. I'm probably going to go mainly for the bullpen. Um, especially since, you know, I feel like our bullpens where we're really struggling. Maybe even a starting pitcher and then maybe an outfielder. I think that's kind of like the areas I'm looking to boost the most. But looking at this month, um, I'm kind of feeling the Cubs or the, the Cardinals for our matchup this, this month. The Cardinals are actually really good. So I'm thinking maybe the Cardinals might be a good matchup um, for us. We already played the Reds. The Pirates don't really interest me. Um, the Braves we've already played. The Mets we probably should play at some point. Um, just because that is a you know divisional game same with the um we've already played the nationals so i guess we we don't really need to play them again so really the 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 phillies which i think we we're done with the phillies this season so maybe the phillies will have to be a next season thing actually they definitely oh no we have to play the phillies this month too Ooh, should we play the phillies i don't know i think the cardinals would be a really good matchup they're actually a really good team this season so maybe that's the team we play you know what next time you see me or next time you know hear from me we're gonna decide who we're gonna play against and uh, we'll go from there all right so i remember we already played the cubs in the first season that was opening day so i feel like going against them is kind of kind of you know a repeated thing so i think i think the the cardinals are a good matchup they got some decent pitching they definitely have some good hitters so let's uh let's go into the cardinals series and uh Let's see if we can continue this one win at least a month. That'd be a good thing to do. All right, so so far into the month, we haven't we haven't won. Um, we kind kind of came came kind of close against the Cubs here. Um, definitely a one win game. Real Manzar is definitely proven to be a solid pitcher for us. So let's head into this Cardinals game. We're gonna have Truman Bartholomew going against Alex Reyes. Um, you guys will see the um, Cardinals lineup in a second. We definitely. I guess we're rocking these uh these black black unis i just feel like the gray ones are always just so boring yeah the, the gray ones are just too boring i can't i can't rock them we're gonna rock the black unis today um we're gonna be in st louis bush stadium um, we're going against alex reyes like i've mentioned there's their lineup bader wong we'll talk about it when we can actually see the lineup but here's our lineup some players are a little bit tired but i feel like th they they got enough enough energy for today and uh the lineup is bader wong carpenter de young ozuna uh jed jerko o'neill hedges and obviously alex reyes their pitcher 65 and 50 for the cardinals and uh alex reyes is not doing too bad you know a 387 era is not bad six and six on the year um we're dead last in our you know in the nl east which is expected you know we're not that great definitely not that great but heading into Bush Stadium for today's game, you know, it's looking like an afternoon, afternoon start. All right, um, I'm I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of nervous going into this one. But Victor Victor Mesa, ten home runs is our team leader. Um, and let's see how this game goes. Top of the first, obviously, because that's how you start a game. But Victor Victor's up. I'm gonna start it off one zero count. And you know what? That's a base hit starting off the game right for us. 86 speed on first. There we go. Slaps it through the first and second gap. I like that. That's a good start for us. That was what? High fastball. Takes it oppo. Good way to start the game. Alrighty. Top of the first. I, I mean, I don't know why I keep saying that. No outs. This is probably a double play. Gets the tag. I don't know, did he just like moonwalk backwards to turn that double play? Like, they're, they're, are they okay, I was going to say, are they not going to show, they're not going to show a replay. Okay, Colton Wong, I'm pretty sure that's who their second baseman was. Colton Wong just moonwalked backwards to tag Victor Victor Mesa. And, man, that ricocheted so hard off Reyes. I don't know how he didn't fracture his shin right there, but 
What a what a sad first inning after we started off so strong. Harrison Bader, all right. He's got some speed. 97 speed. I do not want him on first. So, Truman, you got to deliver here for us, bud. And uh, there we go. Stuart Merrill's going to make the play. He kind of backed off of it a little bit, which, you know, Kind of kind of made me nervous, but he does make the play. All right, the Michael Jackson impersonator, Colton Wong, is up now. And we're sitting at 0-2. Okay. And, oh, baby, the slurve gets him looking. First two batters are down, and now we got Matt Carpenter. Are you serious? This is dang this is this is not good for us. I mean it's a double. He doesn't have the most speed, but just that inside out hit down the line sucks so much. Ah. Uh, and now we got De Jong up who we all know he can slap the ball. Oh, thank God. He gets under it. And Kevin Page should make the third out. And we do, we get out of it. All right, perfect. So even though Matt Carpenter gets that double with two outs, we get out of the inning, no damage done. It's, it's just not good contact there. So Stuart Merrill's up now. All right, come on, 1-0 count. Curveball outside. One out. And that's going to float too, so... Two straight outs, two straight fly outs to start the second. And Maverick Moss is up 211 on the year. I mean, that's that's respectable, um, especially for our team. And ah, that was a good fastball to hit. It was up in the zone. I was sitting high with the PCI, and uh, I was just late. So that's going to end up being a ground out. So one, two, three for us in the inning. All right, Marcelo Zuna's fouled off two pitches. We're 0-2. Ooh, that Vulcan change. Mm. Thought maybe he was going to chase it. 1-2 count now. And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's a no-doubter. That's a fastball down the middle. That's definitely not what I wanted. And uh, he, he took that one. He took that one deep. Holy smokes. Yikes. Well, it is a uh, is a one run ball game now. All right, Maverick Moss should make the play here, please. There we go. One out. Jed Jerko pops up to shortstop. All right, Tyler O'Neill, another another superstar. Potentially in the making, you know. The Cardinals got some good little outfielders. 83 speed on first now. Rain Rodney couldn't make the diving play. All right, there's a good start. That's a good start. Ooh, nice Vulcan change down in the zone. We're going to go right back to it, actually. And, ooh, Washington Hedges is early on it, and we get a K. Truman Bartholomew. All right, second out. Alex Reyes is up the pitcher spot. Two outs. Just going to attack him. Try to get out of the inning here. Oh, all right. 0-2 count. Vulcan down in the zone. Just has him looking. and I mean, one run, definitely not bad. I mean, the, it, that was a definite missed pitch. Like, I missed my spot. And that Marcelo Zuna definitely was going to take that one deep. Rain Rodney. At this point in the season, it's kind of uh, fighting for your position. Rain Rodney or Maverick Moss. And Rain Rodney's going to get a base hit up the middle. Just as I'm saying, hey, who's going to win that second base position next season? Maverick Moss, Rain Rodney. Heck, I may even bring in a free agent to play second base. We'll have to wait and see how everything goes. Truman Bartholomew's up. Can you help yourself out? You know what? You do. Get a base hit. I'll take that. Slaps it past Carpenter at third. And we got first and second. One out for Victor Victor, who had a single his first time up. Look at Truman. Okay. Truman using his lumber. There we go. 
All right, Victor, Victor, I need you here. Come on, be the superstar that you are. Be the superstar that you are. There we go. That's not, ooh, maybe, is that going to score Truman? That's definitely scoring Truman. Zero speed, ah, it's not scoring Truman at all. Oh, he's going to get in from first with zero speed. Probably could have sent Victor to third, but we're going to be safe. We're going to be smart about this. And Victor, Victor Mesa, I almost called him Victor, Victor, Victor Mesa. But Victor, Victor comes in with a double all the way to the wall. Oh, good, good contact on that fastball. That's what I'm talking about. We're up 2-1 to one here in the third. And Pepito, is this going to drop? It's not. I just missed this one. I, ooh, it was an inside fastball. I was kind of sitting up and in. I just missed this one. Oh, wait, what am I talking about? Oh, man, that was a low fastball. Yikes. I don't know. Ugh. I'm going crazy. Kevin Page. Is this? Ah, it's not going to bring home Victor Victor. But you know what? I'll take a base hit. Getting the bats going. Kevin Page gets a hit, which is always good. That's good for him in his, you know, development. Uh, def more hits. Batting average goes up. I'm going to take it. There we go. Give us a two-run cushion. Oh, I got under it. Oh, I got under that one. Ooh, I want that one back so bad. But I can't complain. Victor Victor Mesa delivers with a two-run double. Man, even Truman Bartholomew helped us out in that inning. Alrighty, one-two count. We're going to the Vulcan change down and away. Ooh, not where I wanted it. Come on, Victor, make the play. Get on your horse. Make this play. There we go. We get out of the inning. One, two, three. And we're, you know, we still got that one run lead. I like it. Good, okay contact on that. Mm, I don't know about that one. Yancey Esmond's up. And that's a that's a quick inning for us. I think that was like five pitches. And uh, not, not what I was expecting after that really good inning we had previously. Well, if we keep having at-bats like this, Truman will be lucky to make it out of this inning. I think this is pitch number seven to De Jong. And of course he gets a base hit. Oh man. So the innings underway with the Cardinals getting their leadoff hitter on base. Alright, Marcel Ozuna. Ah. Alright, we're sitting 2-1. Just falls off that change. Alright, 2-2 two -two count now. Doesn't go after that. Full count with Jerko up next. Oh, he fouls off the change. Come on. And we walk him in the end. Truman Bartholomew's tired. <sighs> All right. Dario Leonard's going to come in. But, I mean, he's maybe got one pit, like one or two. Like, look at our, look at our pitching staff right now. They're so tired. Ah, this is this is not good. No outs either. We're gonna go Vulcan change down and away. Oh, throw it to first. Can we get him? Ah, he's gonna beat it out. It was a weird interaction with Robles going to third. I don't. I was kind of hoping he wouldn't. I was kind of hoping he would have like taken that cleanly but unfortunately he didn't this might be a run come on Yancey what are you doing Yancey take your sweet time oh come on man okay you kept it in front of him I guess which is you know good but this is hopefully not another run okay 24 speed yeah I would assume they wouldn't send them but you never know but bases loaded with one out Yikes. All right. Pitcher spot up now. Dario Lennar just has no just no stamina. This uh. All right. Pitcher's up. Double play would be perfect right now. All right. 0-2. Come on. Turn it. Turn it. That is what I'm talking about. Get out of that jam. Whew. We can breathe. 
we can relax a little bit. That was just what we needed. Oh man. This game's getting a little dicey now. We need to we need to take this lead back. Come on. Alrighty, Victor Victor's two for two on the day, a double, a single, two ribbies. You know, he was clutch last at bat. First offering on its way. And is he clutch again? Oh, just, just low enough for De Jong to make the snag. I thought maybe another single for him. Harrison Bader's up. Doesn't go after that slurve. Okay. That four seems not a strike. Oh, come on, Blue. 97 speed on first. Mm. Not a good start to the inning. Not a good start to the inning. And I'm throwing fastballs down the middle now. This is not good. Oh, come on. At least get the lead runner. We're not going to turn two, but we get 97 speed off the base paths. I'm perfectly fine with that. That is good. That was good reactions by Hippolito. Troy Lee is coming in. He's got some stamina, but not a lot. Makes the play. Merrill, there we go. We get out of that one too, and they're starting to rack up some hits. You know, they got two more than us, which, I mean, 12, 12 hits between the two of us. It's a pretty pretty good game. We just got to we gotta score. We, we need to score soon. All righty, 0-2 for Robles. Just fouled off that pitch. Shouldn't have swung. At even, like, I shouldn't even swung at that, but oh well. Still 0-2 with two outs. <sighs> he can get us through the sixth. That would be really nice. And I'm hoping Merrill's got the speed to get over there. He does. This should be out number two. Good start to the sixth here. If Yeah, like I was saying, if... Lee can get us through the sixth. That'd be really nice. That's one less pitcher we have to worry about um, wasting. We're sitting 0-2 here to Tyler O'Neill. We're going high fastball. See if we can get him chasing it. He doesn't even go after it. Hits the top corner of the zone. We get the K. 1-2-3 inning for us. And that's just what we needed. They still got Reyes in the game. They got Gregerson in the bullpen. As good as that's hit, that's still going to be an out, I believe. Oh, he's going to miss it. It's going to go over the wall for a ground rule double. The eighth double for Merrill on the season. All right, nice piece of hitting. There we go. I was kind of hoping maybe that would stay in play. 64 speed. That might be a triple, but I'll take a double. I can't, I can't be picky with the hits. They're going to bring in, I think it's going to be Luke Gregerson. Yeah, it is. I... Ooh, uh, Yikes. 1-0 count. Come on, Rain Rodney. That's not going to drop, is it? I don't think it is. Ground rule double to start the inning. Ah, wasted, 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 wasted opportunity. Ooh, Troy Lee gets Austin Hedges on a horrible pitch in the dirt for the Luke Gregerson, when Luke Gregerson came in. So I'm going to pitch to him. He doesn't have the best hitting stats. As I say that, he's probably going to get a base hit on me. But uh, I'm kind of hoping we can at least get through this, this batter with Lee. As I said that, he might get a hit. Yancey Esmond is there, though. There, though, gets us the second out. Harrison Bader, you know, pitchers who are available. So we got to be careful with what we got here. All right. Two strikes on Bader. There we go. The K looking, and Troy Lee is on fire. That was definitely his last his last batter um, I'm pretty sure he's up this inning anyways to hit so it worked out perfectly yeah he's actually the next one up they got a righty in we'll go Clyde Niles can the string bean first baseman deliver for us nope 
portion, you know, kind of a dangerous part of the lineup. Darby Jarvis. Let's do this. There we go. Robles makes the play. One up, one down, one pitch. I like it. 0-2 to Carpenter. Who doesn't change the Vulcan, or doesn't chase the Vulcan there. High fastball. I don't know why Yancey's going for this one. I don't think he's going to make the play. He does. Woo! Yancey Esmond's making some plays in left today. I will take it. Splitter down in the zone. Come on, get on your horse. Darby Jarvis, make the play. He makes the tag, still throws it to first for safety. And we get the inning. One, two, three. Heading into the ninth. So it's it's a tie ball game. This one is uh this one's getting crazy. St. Louis, Missouri, known as the Gateway. Dominic Leone is coming in. Kevin Page is up. We're gonna warm up Humphrey. Can we deliver, you know, a little late inning magic here? Get through. It's not going to get through. Ugh. Sean Robles. Come on. I need you more than ever. Oh, one count just laid on that fastball. Come on. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. Just under whatever that was. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Two up, two down. Stuart Merrill's up now. Come on, Stuart Merrill. You got a double last time you were up. Can you repeat that? Come on. Give me some two out magic here. That's not gonna drop. That's gonna be the third out. And we're going to the bottom of the nine. Marcel Ozuna. Ah. <sighs> There we go. Rain Rodney's making the play. One out. Jed Jerko. Looking at a curveball. Starts the at bat. Okay. Please, no. Oh, man. I don't know why Rain Rodney was so far to the right. Why doesn't he have. Why isn't he just playing normally? Alright. Who's this? All right, so they got 70 speed on first. Who do we got warming up? Mm, Kevin Smith is in the game. We're going to bring in Adam Malachi. They got a string of righties coming up anyways. Might as well bring in a righty to face a righty. Apparently, that's not a strike, which sucks, but okay. Neither, that was definitely a ball. Come on. We'll see if he can make him swing the bat on this next No, pitch. don't squeeze through. Don't squeeze through. Don't go. No, 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 no. Not like this. Not like this. No. Why does that got to happen? Austin Hedges is up now. Adam Malachi is not hitting his spots. There we go. That's a good strike. That's a good strike. We needed that one. Uh, that would uh, that would have ended the game right there. Gets the K. Yes. Yes. Yeah, you get angry. Two outs. Yairo Munoz is up. No. No. I should have dove. I should have dove. Uh, no. Oh, uh, that that hurts. That hurts. This one hurts the most. I should have dove. I should have dove. I should have dove. I should have dove. Ugh. I wish I could have that back. <sighs> Can't believe it. I should have dove. We had such a good game. 
Mm, that was a good game. That that I like that. That was ah uh, we we allowed a, a lot of hits, but you know what? We got six hits. We kept it very very close, and unfortunately, it just. I, I should have dove there. I really should have. I oh man. Oh, but hey, for a good team like the Cardinals, who what are like 15 games above 500, we kept it pretty close, and we had a really good game here. I mean, I like this one. Victor Victor Mesa had a great game. We got hits across the lineup. That was solid. So it's unfortunate to again come up with a loss in this episode, but hey. I definitely can't complain about the way the team performed. Alrighty, so let's see how the rest of August plays out. See if we the CPU can come in the clutch. They do again. I can't I can't buy a win, but the CPU is carrying us this season. Again, another win. Who got the win this time? Richard Humphrey came in and got us the win against the Pirates. So as per usual, CPU comes in the clutch, and I can't believe it. Like, I can't, I can't buy a win. I feel like, no matter what I do, I somehow always seem to throw the game. And here the CPU is coming out. Like, I got you, I got you, fam. We're gonna get you a win this month. So we're up to six wins, which is so much better than what we were last year but that's how the month of August is going to end, guys. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, this game was down to the wire and i can't believe we just lost against the cardinals on a walk off Ooh, that that one hurts a little bit but i hope you guys enjoyed it actually it hurts a lot it really it really does but i guess I, it's bittersweet because you know we still get a win you know so i can't complain about that but i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did again make sure you hit that like button down below subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content and as always, leave some comments. Let me know what you guys are enjoying about the series, what you guys think we should do a little bit different, who's your favorite player, who you guys aren't liking right now, and things that, you know, just, you know, whatever you guys feel like commenting down below. As usual, I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.